Well, here I am at Suanapum Airport in Bangkok. We landed dead on 6 a.m. Thai time. And it took me less than 55 minutes to get off the plane, get all the papers checked, and they only really looked at the Thai pass, didn't bother anything else. Got a visa on arrival at the desk. And for a change, the immigration bloke was really helpful. I even broke the my mask when I took it off and he offered to give me another one and I told him I had plenty, thanks very much. As you can see, it's not busy, but then it is only... What is the time now? Uh, 7.30. There's quite a few about. Mainly Thais, I expect, and Asians. Quite a few foreigners. The plane was sort of 30, 70, I suppose. And it was full. I'm just hanging around now to meet the, miss the morning rush on the trains. Can't check in till 11 o'clock anyway. Bangkok Airways office was still in the same place on the top floor. Got a ticket up to Chiang Mai for Thursday. down looking for the 7-Eleven but it looks like it's gone. Changed a bit. This is behind this hoarding there used to be a good little cafe. Usual Western stuff, Subway, Starbucks. early for food. We had something on the plane within the last hour of coming down. Prices aren't good but they're uh, a lot cheaper than the western airports. A few people about. A small percentage of foreigners though. One of my favourite steamed dumplings. Dim sum. Burger King. KFC. That's about it now with food outlets. 
Hey, that 7-Eleven went. That was uh, a great place to get a cheap coffee. Might just not expect it anyway. Yeah, coming off the plane and uh, first thing you hit is a line of um, is a line of um, people checking the Thailand pass. Let's try to find the escalator down. Oh, there it is. I've got to go around the other end. They check the Thailand pass. Five seconds at the most. Give you a sticker. They you stick on your shirt, and you walk through to immigration. Lots more deaths there, and there was no. Well, I was in a queue of about three people, but I mean, I can remember queues of fifty or even a hundred up pre-COVID. It's all quite straightforward. And it's only 7.37 now, so I'm done bad. Here we are. Don't even have to walk. Forest police all speak English. Lawson's by all sorts of nurse are tied company, I think. Uh, oh, there's the other one. Going down to the lower level now to check out the trains. Yeah, you get a train from here to Pia Thai, which is the, what well, used to be called the Airport Express, I'm not sure what it is now, and then you get from Pia Thai, I go to, um, I can either get the MRT to Asok, which is on Sukhumvit, and then a third one down to Nana, unless I walk it, but it's a bit too long. Or I go to Pyre Tire and I can get a BTS straight through, Skytrain. It used to be 40 baht from here into the city, but I should imagine that's gone up. We shall soon see us. Yeah. Airport Rail Link.
can see that or not. This is on the lowest level. All the sandwiches that ham and cheese, but very expensive. That's 200 and ham and cheese, 210 bar. So that's, five, that's over a fiver. So prices have certainly gone up. This is the entrance to the train I'll let you know what that costs when I go down I'm not going down just yet still no 7-eleven oh I don't know what's this over here oh there we are they moved it down here from the top floor or the third floor. Thai Smile Hostess or crew. Oh, there we go, it's a lot smaller than it used to be. Best place to get your snacks, and usually the prices are the same as they are in the city. Let's see if they got that. sorts of snacks. Most of this looks savoury but it isn't. That's 34 so that's less than a pound for those two. But they're sweet I think it's apple, no. Twin coconut and custard. Oof. Milkshakes. And I'm going to turn this off because I need to have two hands to look around. Right, this is the underground, well at the moment it is anyway, uh, on the lower level of the of the airport. And the fare's gone up a whole 5p, now 45p. And where I'm going, I'm going from Suwanapum, the airport. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the eighth stop, I'm going to Pia Thai. Well, I'll change to BTS, which will take me up to Nana. And then it's a short walk from Nana down Sukhumvit into Soy 4 to the hotel I'm staying at. It's, I know it's early, but it's ghost town, it's so quiet. It's still not eight o'clock yet. So I've done a lot since the plane landed. It was so quick offloading and it was a full plane as well. In economy it was three rows of three seats. So just in case my my daughter sees it, Sawanapoom is not an Indian airline. <laughs> it's 
So Wanapoom is Bangkok Airport, or one of them anyway. It's all right, private joke, guys. Train just entering platform number two terminates here. Rothfai, Gamlang Hausu, Tatala, Maile, Song, Lak Sin Sut, Gan Hai Gorika, Tisata Nidi. What happens when the train comes in, the security get on, check it for any lost luggage or wallets <laughs> and uh, then they let you on. I've got to say it's a lot more efficient than uh, Heathrow, but then we all know that, don't we? <laughs> Well, it's got a few on. Normally, it's rammed. I love the way they stop right open these doors. Here they come. I must admit, it's nice to be back. What's that? May. So it's two years and three months since I was last here. Uh, security confirmation. There they are walking through. Cleaners. Driver going up to the front. Give you a whistle and on you get. Nice air con. All the whole length of the train. Spotless.
quite easy this one because if you're going into the city you just keep going until it terminates at uh, Piatai. I've actually arrived at Nana now. I couldn't um, film, obviously it's the, uh, the workers, the train was absolutely packed. So I went to Piatai, went down two levels, walked down and paid 33 more baht to come to Nana, which is a direct, that's, that runs the whole length of Sukhumvi. So all I've got to do now is go down there, cross over to the other side of the road and walk uh, which way am I walking? That way, I think. But it's uh, pretty quiet, but the trains were packed. I remember when they opened this Sky Train about 1999? I was here when they were testing it. But it's so efficient, it's amazing. Anyway, make me wait to this hotel, I suppose.